Yo, what's going on guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a coin pickup in Roblox Studio. If you want more tutorial videos like this one, make sure you like and subscribe, and join my group with the link in the description. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a spawn point for the coin. Um, I'm just going to create a part, raise it up a little bit, and then just make sure that it is anchored, turn off all the collide, query touch stuff, and then I'm going to make the transparency to... 0.9 just so we can still see it there and then i'm just going to go into the uh, toolbox here and look up coin and then i'm just going to find one that looks good so i'm just going to choose this one uh you can use whatever you want doesn't matter just make sure that this is also anchored and has can collide off and then i'm going to move this into the replicated storage and then put a script onto this and then we can rename this to whatever you want i'm just going to say coin and this script is going to be really simple um we're just going to go uh, script dot parent dot touched connect function other then we're gonna go if other dot parent find first child humanoid then we can get the player which is gonna equal game dot players get player from character and then we'll do other dot parent and then we're gonna go player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals one um Right here, you want to put whatever leader stat value you have. We're going to create this here in a second so I can show you. And then you can add however much you want. You can change it depending on the coin. And then after the player collects the coin, we want to destroy the coin. So we're going to go script.parent destroy. And then just to make it look a little bit better and more polished, I'm going to go ahead and make it to where the coin spins and floats around instead of just like staying in one spot. So to do that, I'm just going to go while true do. And then we can go script.parent.cframe equals script dot parent dot c frame times c frame dot angles zero math dot rad one and then zero and then we could go script dot parent c frame equals script dot parent dot c frame plus vector three dot new zero of math dot sign tick divided by 25 and then zero and then we're just gonna go ahead and wait so we divide that by 25 just so it doesn't move up and down too much and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the server script service and add a script into here oh you can call this whatever you want i'm just going to call it coins and then in here we're just going to go ahead and get the players which can go game and get service players. And then in players, we'll go players dot player added, connect function player. And then this is where we're gonna create the leader stats. So we'll go leader stats equals instance dot new folder. And then we'll go leader stats dot name equals leader stats. We'll go leader stats dot parent equals player. We're gonna create the coins leader stat. So that's gonna equal instance dot new number value and then we can set the name of it coins.name equals coins and we'll go coins.parent equals leader stats and then below this we're going to go go ahead and get the coin from the replicated storage so we'll go game replicated storage dot coin and then we're also going to get the spawn position for the coin so we'll get coin spawn which is going to equal game all workspace coin spawn or i didn't name it but whatever your spawn is named we can go ahead and put that it's gonna be part for me and then we'll just go ahead and spawn the coin in so that the player can pick it up so go task dot wait three you can make the delay as much as you want as little as you want doesn't matter and then we'll say we'll say if not coin spawn find first child and then we're gonna say the name of the coin so we're gonna do this just to check if a coin is not already in that position so that's basically what this is checking. And then we're going to go ahead and make the new coin, which is going to equal coin, coin clone. And we go new coin dot parent, going to equal coin spawn. And then the position is also going to equal the coin spawn dot position. And that should be it for this. So if we go ahead, go back in, hit play. It should, after three seconds, spawn in a coin. As you can see, it's, you know, rotating and floating. So it looks a little bit better than just sitting there. And then if we walk into it, 
you see that it disappears it gives me one coin and then it respawns after a little bit all right so that's it for today's video make sure you like and subscribe so that i can keep making videos like this one thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time